Howdy, everybody. It's the Soda Jerk. It's me. Um, from the SodaJerk.net with another soda review. Today's a, a weird one, while at the same time it's very common. Today's soda review is Pib Extra. Now, if you've fallen, fallen? followed me on um, any sort of social media over the past 15 years, you realize I have an issue with Pib Extra. It's not the taste. The taste is fine. It's an artificially flavored uh, spicy cherry soda. I guess that's one way to differentiate yourself. Um, so Pib Extra, or as many of you call it, Mr. Pib, hasn't been called Mr. Pib for about 20 years now. It's called Pib Extra. But who calls it that? If you, if you call it, I should have a poll. I still call it Mr. Pib. Do you still call it Mr. Pib? It's been 20 years. I know people that were born after it was called Pib Extra and call it Mr. Pib. To me, it's one of the worst rebrands in, um, in history because no one calls it by its new name. But whatevs. So here we have Pib Extra, a spicy cherry soda. And let's see, let's read some ingredients of that. Uh, carbonated water, high fructose corn syrup, caramel color, phosphoric acid, potassium sorbate, and potassium benzoate to protect taste. Artificial and natural flavors, caffeine, monosodium phosphate, and lactic acid. Caffeine content is 66 milligrams for every 20 fluid ounces. That's hardly any. I mean, it's, it's, it's some, but for 20 ounces, wow. 64 grams of sugar in this. Now, back when this was Mr. Pib, uh, they had that face that would hold its mouth open and said, put it in your head. I liked that face. I liked that face a lot. I was actually given a chance to purchase that as a trademark. Um, that face, just, just the face, not the slogan, just the face. I did not purchase it. I kind of wish I had. I'm fine with Mr. Pibb. I live in Texas, which is Dr. Pepper country, but I'm not against Mr. I'm not against Mr. Pibb. Spicy cherry soda. We're gonna judge it as a spicy cherry soda first. It does have a it does have more of a nasal presence than uh, Dr. Pepper does for certain. I guess that could be defined as spice. And it's very cherry esque. Sure, spicy cherry. Um, it doesn't taste spicy. Like Mr. Pib to me has always tasted like Dr. Pepper with more cherry. That's really it. That's really the difference. I think when they went to extra, um, they added more caffeine. I could be making that up, so don't don't write that on any legal documents. What a strange legal document that would be. Taste-wise, you get an amalgamation of flavors. Cherry is on the forefront. It's not so I would call this a cherry soda, though. I wouldn't drink this and be like, oh, it's cherry soda. No, we, we know what this is. This is, a, this is Dr. Pepper flavored. That's what this was. I was trying to be like Dr. Pepper when it went to the extra version, the Mr. Pib. Maybe that's why they don't go to Mr. Pib, because they don't want it to be the other version of Dr. Pepper. And you add that Mr. to it, that kind of shows you that that's what they were attempting to do. And by saying Pib Extra, it differentiates it a little bit more. But we all know what this is. Um, it's a good soda, though. It's tasty. It's not quite as robust as Dr. Pepper is. And it's I'm not saying, like, by a lot. Just Dr. Pepper, the flavor fills your mouth a bit more. This doesn't. I would say this is a bit more refreshing than a Dr. Pepper, though. Not that it's watery, it's not. But I feel like the overall taste and mouthfeel of Pib Extra, more refreshing than Dr. Pepper. Carbonation wise, it's a bit of a burn. Um, back of the throat, like a, like a 
aggressive, not even aggressive, a medium sizzle. It's not, it's not terrible in terms of, it's no, there's no pain back there. More than enough. It's a good amount of, of uh, it's a good amount of carbonation. I don't really feel like I have to burp. As soon as I tap my chest like that though, that's, that's what happened. But, but Pip Extra, Pip Extra is good. And it's not on the site. That's why I'm doing it. I need to, uh, I'm trying to, you know, try every soda out there, you know. And Pip Extra was not on the website, uh, which is weird. I don't see it very often in 20 ounce bottles. So living in Dr. Pepper country, it's, you rarely see Pib anywhere. If I see it on a fountain machine, that's amazing. There's a hot dog place that's not very good near me who, um, don't know why I had to disparage them like that, but they're not, who has Pib on fountain. And I'm always, I was gonna say, I was always amused and I always try it when I go in there, but I only went in there once because their hot dogs uh, sucked. They may, they, I think they're still in business. I don't know. This is good though. It's going to pair well with my sandwich. You know what else? Pel that would have been so much better had I just fluidly said that. You know what else pairs well with a sandwich? A website. TheSodaJerk.net. With over 1,000 soda reviews, TheSodaJerk.net is your one-stop shop for pop reviews. I think this personally for me is 868 or 869. You already saw the number, so you know the answer already. TheSodaJerk.net. I haven't tried them all yet.